Okay, so I got this thing in, into the box. And your your unit will sit on a uh, piece of foam if you were to buy it off eBay or whatever, or you had someone send it to you. Like what I did, I'm trading this for my Generation 3, which I already got the G3 already. So what I'm going to do is use this same box and put the label on, ship it out, it'll be ready to go. So all I have to do is wrap up the handle. Quit sniffing that. And uh, it'll be ready to go. And you get all kinds of packaging and bubble wrap and all that happy jazz. Um, that What that does, it protects everything from being damaged during shipment. So, And I did fire it up. What? And the kitty has a thing for shoes, apparently. But anyway. This thing is ready to be shipped, and I'll be finishing the packing process, which I will not be filming that. That's going to be, uh, <laughs> it'll take quite a while, which would probably make a big, long 15-minute video. So, on with the packing process, so, and I'll take the Kirby out real quick, and I'll show you the foam. So when you get your Kirby, when you buy one, and they ship it by UPS or however they ship it, your machine, the Kirby unit itself will sit on this. You have M yeah. the, uh, I guess, grooves you can say, and where the wheels would sit to prevent the machine from rolling during shipment as it's uh, being shipped to you. So... So now we'll put the vacuum in, we'll put the unit in on video so you guys can see it go in. And yes, this machine does run, it's from August of 1994. So. And now all I gotta do is put the attachment, well the only attachment it came with, which would be a hose. So, with that being said guys, now you've seen the starting processes of shipment. Thank you for watching.